Today, we're going to do a massive comparison between four of the most powerful AI video generation models, Sora 2, WAN 2.5, Kling AI V2.5, and VO3.1. They all claim to be the best, but when you use the exact same prompt, the same angle, and the same conditions, which one truly stands out? To make sure none of them has an unfair advantage, we used Abacus AI, a platform where you can test multiple models in one unified environment under identical settings. Now it's time to see in the battle of realism, lighting, motion, and cinematic feel, which model will truly be crowned the king of AI video generation. If you're new to Abacus, let me give you a quick overview. Abacus is actually a comprehensive platform for generating and testing various AI models, from chatbots and data analysis to image, audio, and video generation. And the best part is, all the world's top models are gathered here in one clean and simple environment. From WAN 2.5 and Kling 2.5 to Hilo 2, Veo 3, Runway, Luma Labs, and now Sora 2. All right, log into your account. You can sign in with Google, Apple, or Microsoft, or if you don't have one, just register easily using your email. Once you're in, on the main page click on More and select Video Gen from the menu. This is the magical section where you can choose from various models to generate videos. Now we reach the main testing phase. I decided to conduct this comparison in two separate stages so we can evaluate each model's true capability more precisely. In this phase, we don't upload any image. We we only use a single identical text prompt for all four models. The prompt describes a simple yet challenging scene, allowing us to evaluate physics, lighting, motion, and visual detail without any image input influencing the results. The results are truly fascinating. VO takes the clear lead. Its movements are smooth and natural, shadows are accurate, and lighting feels realistic. Sora comes second. It has good physics and logical motion, but facial textures still appear slightly artificial. Kling ranks third, offering strong cinematic effects but less detail and depth. And Wan, although its colors are eye-catching, still struggles with frame rate and motion stability. After finishing phase one, let's move to the second stage. Now things get tougher. In this stage, in addition to text, we also provide a base image to see how well each model can maintain consistency between the visual input and the textual instruction. Here, the differences become even clearer. VO 3.1 once again shows the best balance between color, motion, and visual understanding. Sora, though more coherent overall, still lags slightly behind VO in lighting details. Kling recreates scenes in its own artistic style. Great for creative videos, but a bit exaggerated for technical testing. And Juan, as before, is creative yet unstable. The results of both stages are crystal clear. In both the text-only and combined tests, VO 3.1 is the undisputed winner. Following that, we have Sora 2, Kling AIV 2.5 and WAN 2.5 in that order. I ran all these tests using Abacus AI because this platform supports multiple advanced models simultaneously, displays everything in one unified interface, and, most importantly, is far more affordable than most other tools. In fact, Abacus allowed me to conduct this simultaneous and fair comparison without any limitations, which made it both logical and cost-effective to choose. All right, now it's your turn. Which model do you think performed better? Do you agree with me that VO 3.1 stands ahead above the rest? Share your opinion in the comments. I really want to know which model you would have chosen. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you make a better decision, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next AI tool comparison video. I'm AI Border, and until the next video, bye-bye.